Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a really simple, really cheap fly tying tutorial. Uh, the materials are super easy to find, really, really cheap to buy. Like, there's like barely any materials needed, but it looks good. Um, yeah, um, I know I haven't posted in a while. Um, that's because with COVID and all, everything, we've had like a whole bunch of school stuff that's going on like we're going at school you know and then we go into at home learning all of a sudden because it's code red or whatever and then we have to do school at home and i haven't had much time to make lures um yeah uh i made this one um i really like the way it turned out it's a swim bait it actually swims pretty good um i tested it um yeah but I haven't made anything else, really. Um, I got a new clear coat on this thing. It said it was supposed to dry in 8 hours, though. And that's pretty long for waiting for a clear coat. Um, but it turns out, like, I was waiting 3 days for this thing to be tack-free. And, like, not leave fingerprints. Which is kind of a disappointment. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, maybe keep using five minute epoxy or whatever but yeah complications and everything uh i'm back to um uh, at school like at the school building uh school uh it's every other day so i think i'm gonna try to make videos uh on the days where i'm not at school um but yeah let's get to the fly tying tutorial the really simple really cheap fly tying tutorial so if you're starting off uh this is the tutorial for you for fly tying beginners um um all you really all you need for this like if you want to make it like super as simple as you can get it's just some pipe cleaner and i got um some of these uh fly tying hooks um and um i made this own like thread threader thingy for the fly tying and I also made my own uh, whip finishing tool um, I just made that whip finishing tool because I didn't have thick enough wire I just used the wire from like one of these sparklers um, yeah so pretty simple uh, tools nothing special like at all um, I, I didn't get a fly tying vice I just have like a regular like vice clamp or whatever and I took some of these like um uh forceps and I just clamped that hook that hook in there with the forceps pinched them in the forceps and then clamped the forceps on the clamp um so that's an easy way and it does have some support on the hook so you can like tie stuff um but yeah so Let's get to the fly tying. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of this thread and I'm gonna lay it along the body and I'm just gonna get it started and run that along. And I'm not a professional at fly tying. So if you are, you can judge me and whatever, but I don't really care and so you just go up to the end and then wind it back just so that your thread is started off and I uh, don't have my scissors ready one sec then you can snip off this excess thread and bring it back to the front okay and um then you take your uh, pipe cleaner and you tie it at the tip trying to remember how I did this okay I think 
yeah, you just uh, wrap it around the tip a couple times. And then uh, you just, like, go. And as you wrap it around the body, you want to move it, like, side to side like this. So that it doesn't catch the fluff. And so that it stays, like, poofy. And, yeah. That way you just get it nice like that. And the nice thing about uh, using uh, this pipe cleaner is it comes like pre-weighted so you don't need to like wrap wire around before you start or anything because it's it is a wire oh so that's a bonus and then you just go back to the front using that same wobbling technique so that you don't lose that fluff like that then you just want to wrap it around the front a bit more and this fly is basically done if you wanted to add feathers on then you could and just go put place them down and then wrap it around there and do the same thing basically um, but this is going to be like the simplest it can be. So now for tying it off um, with the whip finishing tool. Um, I'm not a professional at this, so I might mess it up the first time. But you like take this hook part and you put it in the string. Here, zoom out a bit. You place it in there and then you lift it up above there and then bring it there and then you uh, flip it over so it makes that triangle out of the thread and then you wrap it around the end of the hook like five six times and then you want to bring it up like this so that that circle like this part um, the thread comes out and you just Pull it, and then you can tighten it. And I'm not going to add a tail for this one, so I'm just going to snip that off. And uh, that's your finished fly. You can like trim the stuff at the top there a bit more if you wanted to. Groom it however you want. I don't know. Um, but, um, what you can do to strengthen it, what I'm going to do to strengthen it is just, uh, take a little bit of super glue and just dab it on that string right there and just like soak that string in super glue. That'll just help keep the knot tied. Um... But yeah, there's your finished fly. Uh, I have made a few others. Um, yeah, I've made a couple others. Um, uh, here's a, 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 this one. It's neon, it's a green one instead of pink. Um, I don't know where my green one was, that's why I used pink for this video, but there's that. I uh, had another one that had, I had left a little bit of a tail at the end right here. Um, so it has a little bit more of a fluff, I don't know, it's going kind of like a woolly booger. But something I also did with these fly hooks, I think it's pretty cool, is I made my own like ice fishing jigs, it's like... It's the same as like the video that I made about like making like a tiny jig out of a sewing sewing needle. That video is on my channel if you want to go check it out. Um, but uh, yeah, this one I made it a little bit differently than the video. Um, instead of like melting lead onto it, I uh, I took some of these uh, uh, here. I took some of these like copper BBs copper coated BBs for a BB gun and I just like glued that 
onto the hook with some super glue and then um yeah super glue and baking soda whatever and then i painted it with my airbrush and that's how i got like those uh scales let's see if it would focus but yeah i got those scales and i just dotted on the eyes put a clear coat with a five minute epoxy uh, mix some glow powder in with the five minute epoxy clear coat so the jig heads glow which is a bonus for fishing because um, the water gets pretty it, the water's pretty dark so if it glows then you know like that's the fish can see it a lot more and like just a comparison to like a store-bought tungsten jig like uh, here's the store-bought one this golden one this is the one that I made. Um, yeah. What's the difference? I can't see. But, yeah. That's... That's what I have made a couple of. I have a whole... Uh, kind of like an ice fishing kit here. It's got, like, my flies and jigs. And, yeah. Um, some, some little rubber soft plastic tails that I picked up at a sporting goods store. And this is all just in an Altoids container. It's a nice little ice fishing kit. Um, but yeah, um, that's a simple fly tying technique if you want, if you're starting off. Um, it's really easy to do, really cheap, like, you can get, like, uh, pipe cleaners from, like, any, any store, really, and, yeah, really cheap, really easy to make, nothing special, really, fly, um, yeah, so, that's the end of the video, uh, hope you enjoyed it, if you, if you did enjoy it, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would help help this channel to grow. And yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed it, if you find it helpful. Uh, comment down below some ideas for uh, lures that you want to see me make because I'm kind of running out of ideas of what to make. So it would be real helpful if you would uh, comment. Um, yeah, so, that's the end of the video. Uh, see you in the next video.